He wants to go out. So take him out. Hi, we're back for another reaction to Echo, episode three. So just to recap, uh, the first two episodes I did enjoy. I enjoyed the first episode more than the second episode. The second episode was mild, but it's okay. Um, what I don't like, and it's not anything of what the showrunners are doing or anything like that. I just don't like it, period. She's bringing danger to her family. And they, they're her estranged family. Um... As long as Biscuits doesn't get hurt or killed, I'm fine. She's bringing shit down. She's bringing down Fist's organization that's there. Um, it clearly said F Fisk something. I forgot what it said. Shipping, warehouse, I don't know. I mean, it was just there. Fisk. Like, nobody would notice that. Um, <laughs> that was kind of like, why y'all do that? But, anywho... I kind of feel like some interesting stuff is going to happen in this episode. Um, so I'm not going to hold anyone up. I'm not going to hold myself up to watch this and react to it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, visit us on our other platforms. They are growing. Um, share. And with that, let's just go ahead and get into the reaction. Episode 3 of Echo. In the late 1800s, in the account of press with dangerous criminal threat and certain name. The Light Horseman. Okay. Okay. Is that her grandmother? Was she younger? Uh oh. Oh. Uh -huh. I mean, I get it. I get it. He said, "Life, get life givers. We give birth. Yeah, men can't. Men can't give birth." Oh, so braids are for what's for men. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the criminals. And why your gun is not drawn? Mm. That's suspicious. That's weird. Okay, please get down. You're making me nervous. Is that the grandma? Right, all right, all right. Echo <laughs> Key. Ali to to you to chola to me chakma go into my office you part you in the bow cut the crap i didn't come here to get laid up by some old rest dog like you <laughs> go sit over there <laughs> Where's that old chair it's my back she's bringing trouble with her now Biscuits is caught up in it. No, no, he's not. She's too much like her father. You don't know that. You don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. Why don't you ask her? Not likely. I can't talk to her now. Yeah, I got nothing to say. 
I hate that they're not together anymore. That sucks. You're about to die. Wow. Wow. Yeah. One of you's got a babysitter. Are you good? Uh, no. I gotta be out front when he gets here. I'm the man on the inside. You brought that to your uncle. Bonnie, don't get killed. Uncle Henry? Hey, I tried the front. Yeah, sorry. Uh, not a good time. Pretty busy. How about you call me tomorrow? The rink's being um, audited by the IRS, and I'm just swimming in paperwork. Yikes, the IRS. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Appreciate it. Dispatch. Dispatch, Mr. Pope. I would just say to you, whoop, there it is. You sure, bro? Smooth things out with Maya. Tell her it was a misunderstanding. That way, if you leave now, you got nothing to worry about. No, Maya brought this on herself coming home. All I did was accelerate the process. You called someone. Still a chance for you to get out of this alive. You really think he's gonna pay you and then just let you walk out of here? Right. Her zip ties told you I heard something. Whoa, 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 don't shoot her. If she's dead when they get here, we ain't getting paid. Hey. Guns down. I can talk to her. Uh, they weren't supposed to be fighting each other. Uh, go, 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 go. We need her alive. Let's get out of here. They're here. OK. Throw her back in there, too. No. She's coming with us. Come on. Bitch, you need to die. So I'm assuming this guy is from Daredevil. Assuming you brought that money. Oh, you know, we got protocols, right? I uh, keep some money safe while I assess the a situation. You don't think I'd walk in with the money, do you? Find <laughs> out, boys. She's here somewhere. Now, I was thinking you'd show me that money first and make sure it's all there. Dummy. Big girl, you about to die. She can't hear you. <laughs> so, are you 
You grab the money and then. What the hell, man? Ah, uh, looky, looky. Is that Henry Black Crow? How you get jammed up like this? You got something to spill? Huh? Where's that niece of yours, huh? I'm gonna go check on something. We still got a deal, so how about let's all go out and you show me that money? He wants to go out. So take him out. I'm gonna go. Oh! oh. <laughs> Would have been nice if she were, you know, here. Where is Maya Lopez? I thought, yeah, I understand. I, I'm sorry, I, let me just, let's go. Which part? The part who cleans my skates? Or the part where we almost die because there's a price on your head? There's only one person. Oh, He's, not. He's not dead, yeah. Maya. Caught up to us both. I'm helping you. Yeah, he called it off. That was fit. That's why she said I saw him in the face. Yeah, but you didn't kill him.
she need to tell him about the palms. Go see your grandma. I feel like somebody watching. Okay, so episode three was a much better episode. I knew dude was Vicky. I knew he was going to die. I just didn't think he was going to die like that. I thought he had a little bit more rank. Um, but all he is is a redneck. <laughs> Him and his little redneck girls. Uh oh gosh, they 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 cast them well. They cast them well. Um, episode three. So Maya done brought some shit to the family home, you know, and um. I, I hate it because they ain't got nothing to do with it. But um I, I I think I think Henry is her is her uncle. And I think Henry is her brother's I'm sorry, her father's brother. I think. I think I think I think. I'm not sure. I think. Um I'm gonna find out too. Just for clarity. I think, but just for clarity. Um so, just to recap episode three, uh, we pretty much just continue off from episode two. Um, do Vicky pretty much call the people in, call face people in, and was like, hey, you know, we 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 got word that, you know, Maya's here, and, you know, face people came out, and, you know, they had an upper hand for a moment. Now, some of the fighting scenes were good, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, some was a little weak, not gonna lie. Um, I like the pace of it, even though it slowed down, the, the, the storytelling slowed down. So, um, I'm kind of still confused what Maya's end game is. Um, what's the goal? You know, we, in, we're, we're past episode three now um what's the goal i'm pretty sure some answers will be given in episode four and episode five i'm pretty sure hopefully um but yeah so maya put again put her family in danger they come to the rolling the the rink and um man dude all dude wanted vicky all he wanted was the money and that tells you he ain't part. He's 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 so low on the tattle on the t uh, what? How you pronounce that? The totem pole? The tap? The you know what I'm saying? He's so low in rank. That's it. He's so low in rank that um, he's a nobody. And I guess he thought he was more than a nobody. I guess he thought he was a somebody. But in actuality, all he wanted was money. And um. Three shots to the back, two or three shots to the back. Now you did, you know. Um, but the surprising part, of course, is uh, Fist. He out the hospital. No words, just eyes, stares. I'm pretty sure episode four we're gonna have some dialect on that because he's gonna probably want to know why she killed or why she tried to kill him. Uh, but I think he already knows. I think he knows that she know that he killed or he had her father killed. That the Ronin um, 
told her. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if they mentioned Ronan. So now all that started to make sense. So Ronan, let's back it up. Clint Barton's wife, I forgot her name. Uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. But Clint Barton's wife must have been working with Fisk as well. Because he had information on her regarding the watch from Hawkeye. So, yeah. Now it's starting to make sense a little bit. So, Ronan and his, and his wife, Clint Barton and his wife were working with Fisk. Um, or at least we know Clint Barton was because he was snapped. And during the five years, he was just on the killing sprees and he was Ronan. So, maybe the wife didn't work for Fizz, but Clint definitely did. And he definitely did during the snap. Um, I'm just trying to think how does his wife play a part? She might be an innocent bystander. He might get her information to keep tabs on Clint because Clint used to work for him. That's the only thing I could think of. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, it was an inter interesting episode. It slowed down in its, uh, in its dialogue. I thought it was going to be a little bit more dialogue than what I got, but it was good dialogue. Um, but I just want to know Maya's end game. I'm a little confused on her end game. What do she want? What is she looking for? Okay. She want to be queen. Well, kingpins in front of your face right now. So, obviously, you can't be queen. Because you just try to take this man out. And this man's alive. So, what's the play? You know what I mean? What's the, what's the, next, what's the next move? Um, this man does not play checkers. He plays chess. You know? Chess is his game. So, I'm interested. And, I, I of course, I'm going to react to episode four and five but i'm kind of like excited but yet a little nervous and a little like okay where are we going with this you know what i mean um i'm not expecting full flat out answers because again this is just her beginning back you know her backstory her beginnings this is not something like Daredevil or anything like that. Okay, we have Daredevil in there, the first episode. But this is her relationship with Fizz. And I'm glad he's back on the scene. I'm glad they ended it the way they ended. Um, no words, anything. Just looking at each other. Because they're both monsters. They're both monsters. Um, I wonder how this is going to end. I, I keep saying that because... Things just keep coming to my mind, like, you know, down to how does how does this work? And I, I guess I would have more understanding had I watched all those Netflix shows, maybe, since it's canon. Um, I have not yet, so I may, I mean, I, I'm going to watch them, because that's what I said I was going to do. Um, I may get answers. And I might have answers before Daredevil come out. The 18 episodes. I have no idea when it comes out. I believe they pushed it back to 2025. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to end it here. Good job. Uh, kept me entertained. Um, really not sure why people are crying. Um, not really not sure why people are crying. I was, I, 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 is, is it, is it kind of like sometimes unbalanced? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But people are crying. Ooh. Interesting. People are crying and they're crying for stuff that I'm like, um, that doesn't make sense. Like, this was violent. What are y'all looking for? I, I don't want, and, and I'm starting to believe it's not because of the violence. You know, I had a couple people, like, I don't want to call them out, but I'm going to call them out. Heavy spoilers. 
I had to unsubscribe. I'm I'm tired. It's 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 become repetitive. He's a he's a a uh uh uh, uh, uh English uh English um Tyrone Magnus. They hate women leads for some reason. They're so triggered by a woman in the lead role. I don't get it. I don't get. It. They're so triggered, and it, it's 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 unfortunate because th those are all personal issues that they gotta work out with themselves. That's something within them that they hate to see a woman in the lead role. That's that's something that they're personally dealing with. Has nothing to do with the 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 writers of the show or the or Kevin Feige or whoever. That's within them. Um, for me, I'm excited for this. Um, like I said, when she said she want to be the queen, she want to take over everything. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, girl, what you doing? No, oh. but you know what? Why the fuck not? You know, but I just don't like that. She's putting her family in danger. That's the part I don't like, but it is what it is. That's actually real life. You know, you're about that life. You got to make sure your family is covered or. You get them hurt. Um, so with that, I'm gonna end it here. It's time to, it's time to go pick up the booger boo um from school. So I love you guys and peace out. And I see you on the next reaction. Oh, don't forget Patreon, uh, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook. Those things are live, but nothing's on there except Patreon. Patreon has a couple videos. Um, yeah. Bye.